you were the radio voice for the Dallas Cowboys from 67 to 84. What's your best Tom Landry story that you have oh for me, Vern? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> well, I, I'll share this one with you. I Over those years, I probably took 150 charter flights with the Cowboys. And the seating arrangements, for as long as I did that, uh, coaching staff in front office in first class, right behind the barrier, media, and then behind us there was a curtain that was placed with access, obviously, but that was meant to give players a degree of privacy so they could uh, work it off, win or lose, uh, and we weren't to bother them. Uh, and I saw this from a distance. Almost every flight we took, Tom and his wife, Alicia, sat in four C and D. This was a brand of flight with five first-class roads. <laughs> they were in C and D, and inevitably, he would be served first. He would have one glass of Chardonnay. Huh. He would get, and never, ever more than one, he would get up, and again, this is win or lose, and go by us to the very back of the plane and work his way forward. And not that he stopped at every player's aisle, but he had something to say to most of them as he worked his way back to his seat. He would then sit down, and I never do in my life that Louis L'Amour, the, the Western novelist, had written this many books. Tom would pull out a paperback and be immersed in that until the plane landed uh, back in Dallas. I never would have thought Tom Landry was a white wine guy, Vern, in a million years. I would never, I would have never guessed that that he was a Chardonnay guy. Tom Landry, uh, Chardonnay guy. Uh, I'm here to reveal things about character. <laughs> so, how, well, give give you me know, your. There, there's a great line. Uh, that I use again in his speeches. Walt Garrison uh, remains a good friend of mine. He was the cowboy pullback, tough as nails. And he was asked once if he had ever seen Tom Landry smile. And Walt said, no, but I've only been here nine years. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.